In today's video, I'm going to be giving you what I believe to be one of the best under center power running schemes in Madden NFL 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, uh, my YouTube channel is designed to help you take your Madden game to the next level through tips, strategies, and tactics that I release here on YouTube every single day. So if you're interested in getting better at the game, I want to encourage you right now, to go ahead and click that subscribe button. All right, guys, so I wanted to talk about this strong eye tight formation. And to me, this is literally one of the best running formations in the entire game. And what you'll notice here is there's um, different packages that you can go to as well that will sometimes, um, depending on your, on in MUT, you can actually get wide receivers uh, at the tight end and create this, turn this into a two right, two um, wide receiver, one tight end, two running back set and allow you to audible to other pro sets. But I want to talk about this real quick. And um, <clears throat> all you're going to want to do is you're going to put your best running back here on the inside uh, and your fastest running back here in the backfield. So we're going to have Zeke Elliott here. We're going to have Tony Pollard here. Amari Cooper is going to be here. And then down in here, um, you can actually put two tackles in here if you want to. I would just recommend picking your best tight ends to run uh, routes with. For the Cowboys, you got two okay ones. And the audibles we're going to set is we're going to set the HB stretch, the HB dive, the... Um, fullback dive and then the PA tight end cross now uh, this is found in the run heavy offensive playbook the Raiders playbook comes close but they don't have the fullback dive and I believe that's one of the key elements to this play so we're gonna start out showing you the fullback dive here and this is um, kind of out of the five sets for success philosophy this is one of the sets for success and what you'll see here is you can actually take this fullback dive and turn it into a fullback sweep depending if the defense is crashing up see how i can see how i can kind of get out here now that that pursuit angle for king i'm telling you it's pretty um it's pretty glitchy what you can actually do is you can take pollard motion him out here just like this and you can actually turn this into a nice little outside left run um it's bad run stick by me but you can also run it inside as well i do not i do not want to dismiss the fact that this is a really really good um inside run i think that was kind of fluky here we're just running against random plays but this this running play right here you can do a lot with it it's a really good running play um it's a very simple running play as well um there's a very specific defense that the defense is going to have to do to be able to stop the inside and so you can actually use this as an outside run as well this is just a very powerful uh, running scheme. It's really good to run it with the Cowboys too because you have really good linemen um, and you have two really good running backs. So this is just a phenomenal scheme this year um, out of the run balance play. But you see, you just get that instant win animation. Um, and it's going to be an automatic five, six, seven, eight yards. Now, um, once they start doing things like this where they're pinching, um, one of the things they're probably going to do is they're going to pinch the defense to try to stop the fullback dive, which you could do is audible to the stretch. And as you see here, this this stretch in particular. I think it's really, really good blocking, as you see there. I mean, stretch this year is really, really hard to stop. I feel like, personally, they've actually increased the ability to run stretch every single patch. Um, in the beginning of the year, I didn't feel like a run was that big of a deal, and now I'm starting to see, like, it is a huge, huge, huge deal. Um, the pursuit angles are, are not as good as I thought they were, um, and like I said, I think they've actually updated that in the game, and they've kind of turned it into that. But watch, if they pinch their defense here, you see here, you can get that swoop right there with Zeke, and you can get to the outside. That's a really in, that's a really interesting uh, component of this run play. So this run scheme right here, if anyone was just picking up the game and starting to play, I would say try this little run scheme out. This is really, really good. Um, like I said here, you can go to that HB dive if you want a little bit more power. I find the HB dive is really good. The straightforward runs this year, um, you just get such good push at the line. But the next, the last thing I want to do is talk about this PA tight end cross. So this is a really, really good uh, route combination. And with Amari Cooper on this left side, now if you have a hot route master quarterback, let's say you're playing Mutt, and you have a hot route master quarterback, you could take Blake Jarwin and put him on a wide receiver cross. Just a simple cross right there. I'm going to block the running back. You can also put him on a wheel route. You'll see right here, just a simple wheel route. And what's going to happen is you're just going to get the ball out to him quick. And you see here, you're going to get a lead blocker. Um, if they're in man-to-man -man cover, basically what it boils down to is if you do this little um, this little wheel route, if they're in man-to-man -man coverage, you're going over top. If they're in zone coverage, you're going to the right. So right out here, this little wheel, and uh, Dak's kind of shaming me right now. But guys, if you haven't joined the Discord yet, I do want to encourage you to do that. Uh, Discord is a great place to be able to share kind of your favorite schemes, talk Madden with people. But you see here, they go man-to-man, -man, 
these crossing routes, especially in Mutt, are really going to get open if you have like a Jermichael Finley or you have, you know, any good tight end um, is going to be able to run these crossing routes without really any issue. Um, the Cowboys don't quite have the tight ends, in my opinion. But you see here, right on that cut to the inside, you're able to get that ball in and you're going to be able to hit that against man-to-man. -man. Now, what's really cool is, let's say they're running like man-to-man -man coverage. What you can do with Amari Cooper is you can smart route his route. It's going to make it go a little bit shallower. And maybe just block the tight end, honestly. Just have two people out on a route. But what you'll see here is one of those two routes are going to get open. As you see, there's the crossing route getting open. The uh, post route to Amari Cooper normally will actually get open pretty well. Um, if You you can actually run him in motion, too, as you see here. I can run him all the way across the formation. Kind of snap the ball right in here. And you'll see this is a really, really good cover two beater. As you see right there, able to get that ag, uh, ag catch. But you're going to be able to beat cover two. You're going to be – Mario Cooper's route is going to be kind of the key route that brings all this together. Um, and, again, you can use motion with this. You can run him uh, left or right. You see here I can get him out here wide on a motioned out corner. And what you see here is when he cuts that left side, as long as I don't get a throw out of sack animation, I'm going to be able to get this. This is also really good because if people are trying to run disengage blitzes on you, you can easily pick that up um, with the blocking under center. And because you're in a play-action play, what you'll see here, any zone coverage, I find this to be really a good route. And you can easily, you know, click on aggressive catch, or you can just let it um, you can just let it possession. And again, this is all gonna work better if you are playing like Madden Ultimate Team. I actually really like to run this with the Packers um, because you have Jimmy Graham. And then you see here, I can also aggressive catch it with that user catch technique I was talking about some this morning. But this is a really, really good little scheme here. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. I think it's um, it's definitely got some legs to it. It's really hard to stop because of how hard the run is to stop. They have to commit a lot of resources to the run. And then what's going to happen is once they're starting to sell out uh, against the run, then it's going to leave one-on-one -on -one over the top. And Amari Cooper is going to absolutely roast anyone that tries to cover him over top because of his great route running and his uh, slotomatic ability. So just a great little scheme here. Just wanted to share this with you guys. I think it's really, really difficult um, to stop. Like I said, you get that little swoop animation with that fullback dive and you're going to see a lot of success with that. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, this is a really, really difficult steam scheme. Um, it's a little bit more of a run heavy scheme. But I think the game in the meta of Madden 21 is starting to shift more towards um, run-oriented uh, offense. So this is a little mini scheme out of the run-heavy playbook that I think can be helpful. It's actually very, very effective. So uh, anyways, guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. Also, if you have your Madden questions, you can always text me. My number is 812 216 three six four four make sure you jump in the discord discord is a great place to be able to share ideas bounce ideas off one another there's a link in the description to do that and if you are looking for more advanced level coaching uh, i now offer one-on-one -on -one personalized coaching sessions to you guys um, you can pick that up in the description of this video as well and uh, i really believe those will help you take your game to the next level we got a couple more videos coming today so be sure to stay to stay tuned to the channel and we will see you guys later. Some videos that are going to jump up on the screen. Be sure to check one of those out. And we'll see you tonight on stream.